I'm obviously going to be a psycho attached mom, so that's a thing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another pregnancy update video. This is going to be for weeks 19, 20, 21, and 22. And I am currently just in the first few days of my 23rd week. So time is definitely starting to go by so fast. It's so crazy how slow it went by in the beginning because it's like all so new and you're just so excited. I mean, I'm still so excited, but I was telling Austin, I feel like I'm finally like at the point where I'm just used to being pregnant. Like being pregnant just seems normal to me. Like not drinking seems normal to me. Like feeling bigger in my tummy area feels normal to me. And um, I feel like I've had a little bit of a growth spurt in my belly since the last time I updated you guys. So I will show you guys my bump at the end of the video. And oh yeah, also you might be able to tell that I'm in a completely new setting now. I am finally moved in to my new house. So if you guys have been following me for a while, we were in a house um, and then we bought this house, but we had some like in between time, um, the time that we sold our first house and this house was ready. So we were staying in an apartment for a while. So that was a lot of moving. So I'm really glad that that is behind us now because I don't know, dealing with that stuff when you're pregnant is just like not that fun. But on the other hand, people do help you a lot when you're pregnant. Like I feel like I didn't really have to do that much. Like, I mean, obviously I didn't carry anything heavy because you're not supposed to when you're pregnant, but like I feel like I didn't have to do as much stuff as I normally would have because people were just like super helpful and stuff like that. So that was really nice. So yeah, I'm still working on getting everything together in this room. Um, we have like real drapes, um, real blinds coming on Thursday. These are just paper. So that's why there's still like a lot of light coming behind me. So it might not be the best lighting in this video. But anyways, I have a couch behind me now. And you get to see my little pillow pet back there. She's just like the sleepiest girl in the world. Um, but I like having her in the background of my videos and I think like a lot of you guys do too She's just always been in the background of my videos, but when I was in the apartment She wasn't back there for a while. So it's it's nice to have her back. She's like the co-star of this channel So yeah, anyways, what do I have to update you guys on? I guess kind of a lot right after I filmed my last update I had my anatomy ultrasound like the 20 week ultrasound, but I had it at 19 weeks and two days and that was a really cool ultrasound. So our doctor's office can like switch back and forth really easily from the 40 to the regular ultrasound look. Um, so we got to see his face like in really good detail. I'll insert a picture here and it was just so crazy to see like my baby's face like in so much detail. He looks like an infant baby already. Um, he just, oh, I mean, obviously he's my baby, so I think he's so cute, but I don't know. I just feel like he has like the cutest face. Like he has like really round eyes and a really cute nose and like a pointy little chin and like big lips. And I'm like, where did he get this pointy chin and these big lips? And obviously I know he could look totally different by the time he comes out and he could look totally different like a month after he comes out. But yeah, it's just fun to see how he's like developing and growing and changing and he was like trying to suck his thumb in the ultrasound when we watched, which is really cute. And yeah, but he still seemed like pretty chill. He was super cooperative in the ultrasound. They said that it usually takes 45 minutes to an hour, but if you have like a really cooperative baby, it can only take 20 minutes. And ours was like 20 minutes exactly. And we even like asked her to take a bunch more pictures and stuff like that, but she got all the measurements that she needed, all the Things that they check um, during that ultrasound, they got those right away and everything looked really good. Didn't have any red flags or anything like that. And then I got my second trimester blood screening stuff. I don't know, it's like whatever, like their second trimester blood screening and everything looked good on that. And I've had my thyroid checked in the past couple weeks and everything looked fine with that. So everything has been looking really great for me and for baby. We have been very healthy and I'm feeling very healthy and he was measuring um exactly 19 weeks. So he was technically by my, you know, like my period due date, he's 19 weeks and two days. Um and he was measuring exactly 19 weeks but I don't know I just still have a feeling like he's gonna be later than that like I don't think like his due date is June 10th but I just feel like he's gonna be later than that like he isn't I don't know I just like, don't feel like he's in any rush to come out and I don't know they, I know a lot of times with your first baby you go past your due date so I'm just kind of like trying to get in the mindset 
that it's gonna be later than June 10th so that you know I'm not like getting to like June 8th and June 9th and getting like really anxious I'm just going to be like in the mindset that he's gonna come after that so then if he does become by his due date I'll just be like pleasantly and happily surprised and in my last update I was talking to you guys about how I was like juggling the idea of like if I want a natural birth or not and at this point in my pregnancy, at least, I have definitely decided that I want to try my best to do a natural pregnancy um, and a natural labor. So I'm going to try to do it. So the odds are kind of in my favor. My mom had really fast deliveries with both my brother and I. Um, so like a lot of people are telling me that I might genetically be built similar to her and I might also have shorter labors which you know helps you not having as much time to change your mind more than anything so my mom says that her labors were still really painful because she like went through the contractions and like all the movement like within a really short period of time she said that it was very you know very dramatic but I mean I'd rather have like a really dramatic few hours than like a little less dramatic really drawn out process because then I feel like I'll have like the adrenaline and all that stuff and then it's like three hours and I'm done you know the baby's here um but like obviously I am not trying I'm trying really hard not to just like assume that that's gonna be the situation for me because I know I could have a completely different situation than my mom and it's crazy that I won't really know until I'm in that moment, but we did decide that we are going to work with a doula and so we interviewed two doulas just from like a company that I found on Yelp that had good reviews and both the doulas we interviewed were really sweet and we just kind of felt like a little bit more of like an instant like personality connection with one over the other so I still need to sign the contract so I'm like fingers crossed that um, like we are gonna have her for sure, but I'm gonna go sign the contract probably after this now that I just reminded myself. But yeah, that's going to be really cool and the doula company that I'm working with, you get two prenatal visits so she'll come to your house and work with you guys, talk to you about what you want, like all that stuff. Um, two times before, then she'll be with you throughout the labor process and then she does like two postnatal home visits I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's really cool and I'm really excited about that. I feel like that will calm me a lot during the whole process, just having like someone who's been through a lot of different labors and births. Um, just kind of like being like that voice of, you know, this is fine, this is normal, you know, because Austin and I have never been through this, so we're gonna be probably really freaked out. Like every little thing that happens to me, we're gonna be like, Google it! Is this a, is this bad? You know, and like freak ourselves out. Um, and just having someone there who can be like, no, like this is totally normal, you're fine, like don't worry about it, like that will calm me a lot. And also someone to kind of be my voice, um, because I know Austin and I also, we because we're pretty young and I don't know if that's like an excuse or just our personality types, but I feel like we get easily like persuaded by people in authority positions like parents and doctors and in especially the situation of like our birth, I, I don't know, I just want to make sure that what I want and like I want to try to do it natural, I want that to be like a priority and I can see myself in the moment, you know, getting pressured into like inducing labor or breaking my water and stuff like that if someone who's like in an authority position is telling me to. So it will be nice to have a doula by my side who can like remind me of why I wanted to do things the way I want to and stuff like that. And if you're curious to know why I want to do stuff like that, I actually interviewed Mrs. Vegan. We did like a big interview video I posted a few weeks ago and like her, talking to her and like getting information from her like who has really helped me. She's been so awesome and such a good resource to me as um, I've been going through this because she just like went through this like a few months ahead of me. I know and I've been watching a lot of like labor videos and stuff like that and it really just seems like once you start intervention it's kind of like a snowball effect and I know that's not always the case and I know that a lot of the times like you can't like you have to have some type of intervention but um, I just want to try to do it as naturally as possible because I feel like, I mean, I know that this is what my body was made to do and I have no reason not to trust my body and not to trust my baby and, you know, this has been going on for, you know, however long humans have been here. And so, yeah, I just kind of like want my body to be doing its natural thing and my baby to be doing its natural thing and I feel like medical intervention will just kind of like, you know, delay my body's natural process or delay the baby's natural process a little bit. So. I want to do it as natural as possible. That's my plan, but I know things don't always go according to plan, especially in situations like this. So 
I'm keeping my mind very open. I know obviously at the end of the day, I just wanna do whatever is best for the health of the baby and obviously my health too. So yeah, that was a very long uh, explanation, really rambly and I don't even know if it made sense, but <laughs> yeah, that's like what's going on in my head lately. Since my last update, I was telling you guys that I was starting to feel the baby kick and it's so funny now like watching that and I'm like, I think I felt him like 10 times because I feel him like 20 times a day kicking me now. Like He is just kicking and dancing and doing karate inside of me all day long, but it's so cool. It's my favorite thing in the world. And Austin has felt it a few times and I'm just always, especially mostly when I lay down like or like sit on the couch and just kind of relax, that's when he starts going crazy. Um, and I love it so much. Like it's my favorite feeling in the whole world. So it just like makes me so happy. I like feel like it's like little reassurance that he's like, healthy in there and he's just moving and doing his thing and it's just it's just like such a cool feeling like and I know like everyone who's pregnant says that but I feel like it's so hard to describe like until you like experience it yourself like you're just gonna I don't know it's just like so so cool um just like feel like someone else living inside of you I don't know it's just oh I'm gonna get emotional <sighs> pregnancy emotions are real. Like literally the other day, we were listening, I don't know why I do this to myself because it's just gonna make me emotional, but I love it. Um, we were listening to um, Anything Like Me by Brad Paisley, which is like a song about him finding out that he's gonna have a son. And at the end of the song, they talk about like, you know, like him leave going away to college and stuff like that. And I started thinking about like my son going away to college and I literally like was getting teary eyed. I was like, oh my gosh, he's not even born yet. And I'm, already like dreading the day that he's going to college so I'm obviously gonna be a psycho attached mom so that's a thing um, I'm really excited because we're starting to decorate his nursery so when that's all done I'm definitely going to be doing a nursery tour I have his wallpaper up I have a rocking chair I have a bookshelf but the bookshelf and the ottoman and the pillows that are in there were just like recycled things that I already had in my house but they look so cute in his room and I like hung up some of his um clothes on little baby hangers in his closet and it looks so cute like baby clothes hung up because they take up like this much room in the closet are just the cutest thing in the world um so yeah i'm really excited about that and i think we're going to do his name reveal sometime soon i have an idea of like how i want to do it but it like i want it to be like this like cool like artsy video and like sometimes like i have this idea in my head that i can't actually portray on my with my editing skills so I'm gonna do my best and see if I can get that out soon and then I know that in my last update I said I was gonna film this video uh, like in the next week and I never did but me and Austin are gonna sit down and film a video talking about whether or not we are going to be raising our baby vegan because I get that question literally every day um, and it's something we're really passionate about and we have a lot of reasons for making the decision that we are going to be making. So I will sit down and film that video shortly for you guys. I was having really bad rib cage pain in my last video and I still get it on and off sometimes at night when my food is digesting, but I don't know if I've gotten used to it or if it's just kind of gone away, gone away. But, uh, that's definitely gone away. Sometimes I kind of feel like tight, like almost like pulling feelings in my stomach and I don't know if that's like him just moving or like pressing against me or if it's like literally like my skin stretching I don't know um but that's just like a tiny bit painful nothing really and sometimes he's definitely like sitting on my bladder or like pushing on my bladder because I like feel like I have to pee really bad but like I just went pee or like I know I don't have to go pee it's just like this like intense pressure like on my bladder <laughs> that's been like kind of fun but it's like not that big a deal I've been feeling really good. Um, I feel like I've, I've said this like a million times, but I feel like I've had a very easy pregnancy and I feel really lucky. Um, and yeah, I've just been like really happy lately. I feel like everyone says like the second trimester is like the happy trimester and I could definitely like vouch for that. I'm just like so happy in my, with my baby bump and stuff like that, but it's kind of getting to the point where like you can definitely notice that I have a belly. Um, and I'm totally comfortable in front of like people who know I'm pregnant because like they know there's a baby in there, but like when I was out to, at the mall shopping by myself, I was like, oh no, like, 
are people just looking at me thinking that I have an enlarged belly or like is it obvious that I'm pregnant? I don't think it's obvious that I'm pregnant so I'm wondering if like people can like notice like that I just have like a big belly and like thinking that I just am like this big belly girl. I mean not that it matters but <laughs> I'm just always like I hope they know that there's a baby in here. Um, so yeah, that, and I've been kind of like having a hard time like finding clothes that like make me feel good. Like I feel like if I wear like loose things then it just kind of like makes me look like a big potato sack. And then if I wear tight things it kind of just makes me look like, I don't know, like I have a beer belly. So, I don't know, I'm kind of in like a weird in-between phase, hopefully. I pop a little bit more soon. I'm so jealous of those girls who have like a cute basketball like right away because mine does definitely not look like that but yeah anyways it's been a great past couple of weeks super happy about everything that's been going on if you guys have any questions for me leave them in the comments down below and I guess I'll just show you my bump shot now okay so you can definitely see my belly sticking out now I feel like it has grown a lot since my update my last update but like Again, I feel like it's not like obvious pregnant belly. It's just like, oh, Danny, you've been uh, eating a lot, haven't you? Or something like that. So that's why it's like kind of awkward. I don't know. I mean, this is like 23 weeks. I thought I would be so obviously pregnant. I feel like this side looks more like a pregnant belly. It's my good side, apparently. And these are just um normal leggings from before I was pregnant, and they're so tight. So I'm probably having like love handles from these right now but yeah it's like that's my baby i don't know why my belly is the way it is but that is it um but it's definitely growing hopefully it'll just like pop and be cute soon but even if it's not i'm okay with that because he's healthy and that's all that matters but yeah there is my growth let me know if you guys can notice a big difference from my last update. So that's it for my pregnancy update today. I will update you guys again in either two or four weeks. I'm kind of just playing it by ear and seeing what I have to update you guys with. Um, if it's in two weeks, then I will film it in two weeks. And if it's in four weeks, I'll film it in four weeks. But anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you guys found this video helpful or interesting. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.